Robotronic. <laughs> What's up, player? What we're, up, what up? Yo, yo, yo. we're in the quest of uh, skydiving. Skydiving mode. Airborne. Let's do it. Airborne, airborne. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I follow you guys. I had had my ticket to go skydive for two years. It was given to me as a gift. Gustavo sent out the Facebook invite, but I didn't read it. I just saw that there was dancing and that there was breakfast. And of course there was all about the breakfast. I thought that the best idea was to do it on my 30th birthday because it was going to mark a place in my life where I could say on my 30th I did this and I did not get obliterated or drunk to the point where people would carry me out and I wanted to make it a difference a different birthday nothing where I'm clubbing, where I'm drinking I was like, this is it, my 30th birthday He was like, what do you think about skydiving? and I was like, okay because I always go along with what he says guess what, what, we're jumping out of a plane <laughs> yes brother, we're doing it and then he asked if I was going skydiving and I thought that was super random, but I was like, of course, I'm all about it, let's do it. But I was really nervous. I really thought about it for those like two days, all of Saturday. And then, yeah, I couldn't believe that it was actually gonna happen. So the night before, we went out party. We were south dancing. But I went home like about 2.33. First of all, I haven't slept for 24 hours, so I was awake and tired. And he never slept, right? Miguel talks a lot. We all know that Miguel likes to talk. But uh, we were like, today we're gonna jump. We were super energized. We were pumped. We were like, whoa, we're gonna do it. You know? Oh, this is unbelievable. Happy 30, brother. Either way, it was the, the funnest group that I think we could have ever gotten. So people, of course, bailed out. Uh, I talked to other friends, and they're like, right away, they're like, yeah, we're gonna do it. But then the moment, the moment it's happening, the moment you call them, <laughs> they they disappear. They don't give they there are no no call no show. Did I mention we're taking over at whatever the cost? got there, I just wanted to do it. When we got there, I think I was the first one that ran out, and then everybody else stopped and talked to a couple that was standing there, but I ran straight like in, into the place, like I wanted to see what I was doing. We walk in there, and, and uh, the energy of the place was very, um, kind of busy. There was a lot of you know, people who were folding their parachutes. I didn't know what was going on really because I'm not an expert, but I saw some people pulling parachutes, laying them out, uh, a lot of distraction, a lot of things going on, and then they point to the counter, and then you get to the counter, and I pay, they give me these forms to sign, so please read it carefully and sign. I didn't read squat. Well, when I sat down to sign the waiver and quote unquote watch like the safety video, which no one actually watched, uh, that's when I realized like they have my money already, so. I guess this is really happening. You sign the papers and then you're like, nah, for real. <laughs> like, is this really gonna happen? So that's when I got more excited. I think I was jumping at some point. I was nervous as hell. I was like shaking. This shaking, but like I'm moving my hands this bad because I couldn't, I couldn't hold it. My tandem guy, everybody got their own tandem guy. My tandem guy was from Russia. And it wasn't that he was from Russia. It was that he didn't speak a lot of English. So it was it was really good. The guy was super professional. He said, Miguel, I can tell you here this video. It's like the first time you go. Heck yeah, this is my first time. I don't know if I'm gonna pass out my pen, so die in a heart attack. 
So the guys were completely laughing about it. And then I kept saying, we were like, well, we're not going to jump with an ugly guy. But then he comes up, and he's not ugly. But he's little. And I'm like, I don't want to jump with him either. He was such an ass. <laughs> One of the other guys goes, you know that harness looks really big on you. And my instructor goes, yeah, it's an, it's an XL. And the, he goes, extra little for her. And then I just go, I think he realized I wasn't going to cry. Because he even asked me, like, oh, are you going to cry? And I was like, no, no, not happening. <laughs> and these were his words. Hi, Albert. Okay, hi, Albert. Um, put on suit. Okay, so put it on the suit. Um, and he pointed at a picture of a banana. And he just said, banana. And I'm like, what about the banana? Like, are we selling fruits now? Are you going to give me a fruit? What is going on? Oh no, banana, uh, grab strap, strap on, look up, feet up, banana. And I, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm connected to dots here. He wants me to pose like a banana. And, and I thought it was gonna be like a more of a video. That's it. About 8,000 feet up, the airplane started making different sounds. It wasn't a regular smooth sound anymore. That airplane has been ridden a lot. You just hear the engine. There was a lot of rattling, and I was like, oh. Annie was next to me, so I talked to her a little bit, and then I talked to my photographer, or my camera guy, videographer, in front of me. Can't get out of here. That was my feeling. It wasn't until we were like one minute away from jumping that I got a little pep talk with, from my um, instructor. So he went from total ass to super nice. And so I thought, well, at least I wore a strap now. If anything happens, if the roof comes off or if the, the bottom of the airplane comes off, now we have parachutes. I mean, I, I guess we can we can make it through. Everything's alright. Since I was the last person, I wore the last. They're with you. Ah! They're gone. So I was looking straight forward. I didn't want to look down at the time. I still remember it. Nice sunlight, you know, in my face. I can feel the freshness of the air. And then I jump. And when I jump, my mind went blind. She's a good girl, loves her mom, loves Jesus in America too. She's a good well, mine was less of a jump and more of a roll because um, I was sitting on the ground um, by the door. So they just rolled the door up right next to me, and and it was as simple as a ready, set, go. And we just rolled out. The instructor told me look up and be ready for the banana, and I was ready for the banana. And uh, I don't this. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean like the position you you look up and I was with my hands dropped. And I was like, am I supposed to close my mouth? <laughs> I was like, did they tell me that I'm supposed to close my mouth? Like <laughs> And I think I was just like smiling through the whole thing. And it just
but the free fall it was amazing. You you feel that wow you're falling, you're not falling, you're flying. No, you're not flying. You don't know what's going on. Ventura Boulevard and all the bad boys are standing in the shadow in the good. And then you're falling and then you're, it's, it's just you and, and, and the planet Earth. You're falling and you're falling and you're falling and you don't know when, when this is thing's gonna end until all of a sudden the, the, uh, the parachute opens up and phew, it opens up and it holds you and it just gives you this, this relief, this calmness, like you're safe, you're being held. You're not yet on the ground but you're being held and now you can enjoy the panorama, enjoy the view, check out what's right, check out what's left. In an instant it went from hectic and noisy to the most peaceful, just quiet and just tranquil feeling in the entire world. You just go from crazy noise to complete silence where you could hear a pin drop. I mean, if my eyes were projectors, I would love to show you what I see, but it, probably I'm going to run out of English in a little bit. And then he's like, you want to go to the freeway? Yeah. He was telling me, like, like okay, we got to turn this around and come back. Because I think we went a little bit too far. And we had to come back around. And he goes, because I was the one that was moving the parachute. So when we were about to come down, he's like, no, I need to, like, make sure that we get us back the right way. Did everybody else get to do that? Yeah. The gliding was amazing. And then when we started to land, when we were going towards the landing spot, where next to the freeway, I got nervous. I was like, why are we going towards the, the street right now? <laughs> like, not like this. I don't want it to be over. I like the gliding part. Like, I just was like, can we go back now? The landing was just perfect. Oh, right, on, right on the butt. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm really hitting 30 because I could not lift my legs. So I was like, I have to lift my legs out much, and you because you have to land on your butt. Hello, when I see all my friends that were waiting, and they were like, sure, I'm big, you're gonna make it, dude, you're gonna make it, you're gonna do it. And I see everybody happy that everyone was super happy. Happy. And then Anna was already landed, so I go and hug and I get in her video and I hug and I hug. I think I hug everybody. It was amazing, overwhelming. Um, I couldn't talk. It was it was awesome. We did what we said, and, and gosh, and that was nothing nothing but a warm and, and cozy feeling between friends and, and doing something edgy again. You know, that was a good feeling. I found that I enjoy jumping out of airplanes. <laughs> Absolutely. And we were just ready to do it. We were just ready to do it. Anna wasn't ready, but she still came. Thomas! I did not know Thomas then. And he just came over and like, Anna's like, can I bring a friend? Like, sure, the more the merrier. And, and now, uh, you know, we're all friends and we all get to know each other and we all get to talk about the great experience that we had. So thank you guys for being part of my birthday and making it so much more memorable. Destiny. Destiny loves us so much for us to be back on land. Wait, wait, watch this. <laughs>